Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be talking about Adobe India Hackathon full, full preparation guide. Also to apply in this hackathon, you will get the link in the description. Through the link in the description, you can apply for this opportunity. I will be discussing everything about this hackathon in this video. So finally, Adobe India announced one hackathon through which you can secure the internship. Also, you can participate in Adobe India Drive to actually get the rewards. Okay, we will be talking about the preparation and the round details. First of all, we will talk about the eligibility criteria. The eligibility criteria says it is open to students pursuing full time B Tech, B, M Tech, ME or dual degree programs from engineering colleges in India and will graduate in 2026, 27, 28 and 29 means these four batches, four passing out batches are eligible to participate from engineering degrees and dual degree programs. Participant must register in the teams of two to three members. Cross college teams are not allowed. It is a very important point when you will be participating cross college teams. You do not need to form. You will be for uh, you will be forming a team from the same college okay and cross year teams are allowed matlab in the same college you can form the team uh, with the different pass out batches okay cross spe uh, specialization teams are allowed so suppose if you are from computer science you can form a team with a it graduate so something like this is allowed okay now talking about the internship opportunity so if you secure the first uh, rank then each member of the winning team will receive a macbook here if you get second prize then each member of the winning team will receive an iPad here. Top 50 partic uh, participants will get the pre-placement internship and a chance to intern with Adobe with a stipend of 1 lakh rupees per month. National final, uh, finalists to get exclusive goodies back from Adobe and Adobe Acrobat Pro licenses. 50 shortlisted teams to get certificates from Adobe. Okay, so these are the all details uh, what you will be getting after uh, participating in the round. So if you secure a good rank, you can get these things. Now talking about the online MCQ plus coding assessment. So let's discuss about this. So first of all, let me show you. This is our uh, 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 the full website. I will show you and then I will talk about uh, how can we prepare for that. Okay. So this is our Adobe India Hackathon. Okay. So this is our website where you will be registering. After registering, if you can see here, there is one round which is live which is online mcq assessment plus coding demo so in demo round what you need to do is as listed below this round is a demo assessment mean to help all the participant team to get comfortable with the platform before the actual competition begins so basically you can participate in demo in demo you can go through the platform you can check how you are feeling about the platform what are the buttons how you will be giving the actual assessment because demo assessment will be reflecting a kind of actual assessment only only the questions will be different in uh, actual assessment in demo assessment you can be familiar with questions okay it's great way to avoid any last minute confusion du uh, during the main round this is a non eliminatory round and the demo rounds will be live from 17th of june till 11th of july now coming to the main part on 11th of july uh, from uh, 12 p.m. IST, there will be online MCQ assessment plus coding test and it will be live for around 8 hours if you can see here from 12 p.m. IST to 8 p.m. IST the round will be uh, ongoing. In the first round we will discuss about this okay let's discuss about this. The first round is online MCQ plus coding okay. In this round it is mandatory for all team members of each participating team to attempt one hour assessment. First of all, suppose you are forming a team of three members. Now all three members should give the assessment uh, uh, in this round. Okay. It is not like that only one member will be giving the assessment. The whole performance of the whole team should be good. Okay. Comprising 15 MCQ questions and one coding question focused on algorithms and data structures. The team final score will be calculated based on the average score of all members means the performance of all members matters so don't form the team if you think if the participant is uh, not much confident in data structures and algorithms it can affect your score also try to collaborate with brilliant intelligent students so you can secure and you can get a good price okay this will be your first round as they listed in the syllabus there will be 50 mcq questions based on algo and dsa programming logic there will be one problem statement to be completed in one hour means 15 MCQ questions 
and one coding question will be there. This will be the format. Okay. Now coming to the next part, all team members must participate in this round and all team uh, average will determine for winning teams. You can attempt the assessment once the round is live on 11th of July. During this time, you can click on the assessment link, re-attempt. Each candidate is only allowed one attempt. The challenge must be completed in one sitting. You must finish the task before the timer runs out. So the duration will be one hour. In this one hour only, you need to complete the whole assessment comprised of 15 MCQ and one coding question. Now coming to the preparation. For MCQ preparation, there will be 15 MCQ which will be related to data structures, algorithms and pro uh, programming statements. First of all, to prepare all this, you need to focus on programming. Okay. I am not saying to focus on individual languages. Like suppose if you are focusing on C++, on Java, Python, no. You actually need to focus on the logic part. Okay. Logic and problem statements. So basically in the MCQ questions, uh, many questions you will be getting from logic building. So language will not matter a lot, but actually your problem solving skills should be good. Your programming concepts should be good. Okay. That's why programming as a language doesn't matter much, but the logic preparation, the logic behind the codes, the logic behind something algorithms that you should uh, prepare good. Okay. Then second thing is pseudo code. So what is a pseudo code? So in a pseudo code, you will get some statements of the code. In that statements of the code, you need to understand the code and you need to take the right answer. It can be any kind of code like they are asking you output or they are saying what uh, we will uh, get if we execute this, what error we will get. These kind of things we get in pseudo code in which a kind of statements will be given in uh, a pseudo code format, not particularly related to any language, but just a snippet. Based on the snippet, you need to give the answer. Second is error detection. Third thing is error detection. So maybe you will be getting the question in which there could be some possible errors. In those possible errors, you need to point out the errors. Okay. This kind of MCQ question you can get. Output based question. So there can be some questions given and you they, they will be asking you the output. Okay. What will be the final output of the uh, uh, program? Okay. And there will be questions related to missing statements also. So there can be some questions related to missing a statement. Suppose a snippet is given, they will ask, they can ask you what will be the missing line which you need to fill. Also some theory questions related to, theory question related to data structures and algorithms can be asked. So theory questions means something related to sorting, searching, graphs, dynamic programming, related to sliding window, heap, anything can be asked related to programming data structures, algorithms and some theory portion okay what sources you can use you can use interview it for preparation you will get mcu questions for dsa and preparation also and for data structures also geeks for geeks you will get a lot of test related to data structures algorithms mcu question chat gpt best source so use chat gpt and uh, ask chat gpt to create some questions like the uh, like this and how you can prepare for that uh, this so chat gpt you can use for a lot of thing like you can ask to create 100 questions from uh, any topic then you can say continue 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 so it will be generating some questions okay so chat gpt you can use definitely a great source for the preparation so these things you can do now talking about the coding question so coding question level could be lead code hard because there will be 45 minutes in the 45 minutes, there will be only one coding question. So I'm assuming the coding question level can be hard. Primarily, these topics are very, very important. First is dynamic programming. Okay, so DP is one of the topic which is most asked topic in the recent times by the product based companies. Okay, most asked topic. That's why DP is very, very important. Also, the question will be designed in that manner that if you will Google it, you will not get the answer. You need to actually build the whole algorithm. Okay. So they will build a question like this. That will be that much difficult that you will be not getting the direct answers on Google chat GPT or something. Okay. So make sure to prepare actually good. So dynamic programming is also very important. One of the most important topic which you need to prepare at least prepare 40 to 50 questions on DP 40 to 50 questions on DP. You can use lead code geeks for geeks. 
or you can use YouTube channels, okay, anything which you want. Then graphs. Graphs is also very important. There are, are a lot of questions related to graph and there are a lot of very good questions on lead code related to graph. So graphs question, basic algorithms, also practice questions must do in graphs. Bit masking, bit masking very, very important. Bit masking can be asked because last time if we talk about uh, one assessment was conducted uh, sometime before, they asked questions related to bit masking. That's why important. Recursion, less chances of getting the question from recursion, but be prepared for recursion because suppose if you get the question from dynamic programming, if you cannot build the logic, at least recursion code can pass 50% of the cases. Okay, so suppose you got the question from dynamic programming, you don't know much and uh, you unable to like find out the actual solution, then from recursion using the basic algorithms, you can at least pass 50% of cases. Tree, tree is important, okay, because uh, in these kind of questions, uh, 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 like 45 minutes in one question, they can ask you question related to tree. Divide and conquer, important topic again, sliding window, important, and array and string hard algorithms can be asked. So these will be some uh, important coding uh, topics which can, you can prepare. You can use the lead code website, okay, for the primary preparation, okay, lead code you can use. Or I would suggest to prepare actually from hacker rank. Hacker rank is also very good. Hacker rank kind of questions you will get uh, uh, on uh, 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 in, the, in this kind of competition, okay. Then talking about this, after uh, basically clearing this, there will be a live launch session. In the interactive session, shortlisted teams will be introduced to the problem statement by industry leaders. The session will be concluded a detailed briefing on the case, a kind of case briefing round, you can say. Then round, round two will start from 14th of July. Is my all shortlisted team will gain access to the detailed problem statement. So suppose if you cleared the round, first round, then you will be going for the second round on 14th of July and there will be a whole ecosystem and uh, everything will be mentioned here. It will be related to some problem statements. You will be uh, dealing with some problem statement and the evolution process will be on that only. Okay, you will be getting one document with the detailed problem challenge which you need to do. This may include a private grid, a GitHub repository link and any asset to, uh, assets uh, documentation need for evaluation. Further submission instructions and access credentials will be shared closer to the round launch. Then there will be round three. We will talk about it later when you will clear these. Then round four will be grand finale on 5th of September. So this will be your whole process. I hope you guys liked it. I explained each and everything uh, related to first round. Okay, because first uh we need to talk about it then we will talk about the next rounds uh the link for participating in the round will you will be getting in the description thank you so much for watching